my harness is on, it's doubled back, uh, and I have all my stuff on my gear sling. So I'm going to put on my chest harness, and I already have on all the layers I'm going to wear for the day. Chest harness, keep my knot right above the carabiner, and it's not in the way. It doesn't hit me anywhere. We want a non-locking carabiner here. Next is your gear sling. You can either put your gear sling on now or after your pack is on. I don't really care which. Whatever is more comfortable for you. Mm. Yep. Just like that. Again, I keep the knot so it isn't in my back. Then our backpacks go on. Remember the pack tether we tied on? First I make sure it's not tangled up in anything and then I hold on to it as I put my pack on. So I'll grab my pack, get it on my knee, shoulder it. And buckle the waist belt underneath everything. So now I still have this big dangly thing. That'll get clipped into the rope. So our climbing ropes will have a figure eight tied in it. You'll have two locking carabiners on your waist here. We're going to take these, even if you have a belay loop, these locking carabiners are going to go through your two hard points. So your waist and then your leg loop. And we're going to go down. So I've got one like that. And I personally put one on each side of my belay loop. Uh, our ascenders will get girth hitched either to both hard points mm. or to your belay loop. Mm. Whatever is easier for your setup. We've got two of these prussics. Just need one of them. So we're going to use the big loop, not the one with the knot in it. Big loop, three wraps through the middle. If you're in the middle of the rope, this prussic will go on the front side. So now that I've got these two, I've got the two locking carabiners. One of them gets one and the other gets the other. Lock them. This gets clipped into the climbing knot, like that. From there, I'm almost ready to travel on the glacier. The last thing I have to do before we'll start moving is we'll clip in our chest harness. So this is representing I've fallen into a crevasse. But if I hadn't and we were about to leave, this rope would come up here and then down to the ground to the person in front of me. So going to double check before we leave. Both of them are locked. Got my pack tether. Prussic is on towards the front. We also want the prussic right down at the knot. We don't want it like that. That doesn't do anything. And we also don't want that. We want like that. And this, I always try and make sure that it's underneath everything, just so it's out of my way. So now yeah, there you go. You Skip it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Here. Here. One. And then lock it. Lock it. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. This is your pack. Pack. Back. back. Underneath. Oh, this one. Okay. Underneath. Yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. One prusik. One prusik. Oh. Tie the prusik on. Prusik is one. One. Two. Mas la Three. Yeah? Prusik is on and tied. Okay. The last thing before you let go is. Oh. That's just right there. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh. Now you're ready to fall into the yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You just sit down. This mm -hmm. gets locked in here. Locked. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So then. Mm -hmm. So then. 
That, the mm -hmm. last thing you do. Mm -hmm. Oh, last thing. Wow. Okay. Okay.